Welcome to the Blue Wave Sports Show. I'm Hannah Warner. And I'm Andrew Ramey. We have a lot to get to, so let's get it started by talking about a legend. Last week, former FAU head coach Howard Schnellenberger held a book signing for his first book, Passing the Torch. His book is a chronicle of his life around the game of football, from saving the Miami football program and winning the Hurricanes' first national championship in 1983 to help founding the FAU football program and being a reason for FAU's on-campus stadium. Here's Schnelly on passing the torch to the next generation. Well, this book was uh, covers a lot of years. It goes back to 1948 when I was a youngster in high school. And it, uh, it, the end of it is right here in, on, on campus in 2011. Uh, I wanted to write a book about my experiences through my life, particularly uh, showcasing the uh, five uh, coaches that coached me uh, and then passing that on that, hence the, the, the passing of the torch title of the book. But it's a, a comprehensive uh, study of uh, the great game of American football over the old 65 years that uh, I was in coaching. Although it's been three years since Snelly has been on the FEU sidelines, he still keeps up with the Owls athletic program. Here's his take on the state of FAU's athletics and a special message to Owl Nation. Uh, Charlie Partridge is a great addition to our, our, our program. Uh, he comes in with all the charm and all the know-how to uh, bring us to the next level. But what really is the, the amazing thing is it's all, the stars are all lining up, and I'm talking about stars in the terms of uh, people. President uh, Kelly, our new president, uh, uh, Charlie, uh, Pat Ch uh, Chung, our athletic director, and and uh, a new conference and a new uh, and a new stadium. All these things play out to give us a chance to believe that uh, in time we can't, could uh, declare that we're on a collision course with the national championship and the only variable is time. Well, if you want to have fun and if you want to get the most out of your college education, join the students that come to our football games. I am so proud of these students going back to 2000 and 2001 and 2003 all the way till the present day. I can equivocally say they responded <clears throat> to a new team faster than the students that did at Miami and at Louisville. And uh, that's really an unusual situation. But now that we've got so many students on campus, and now that we've got so many students that are already enrolled in the uh, Student Alumni Association, we've got a great chance to start filling the stadium up and using the stadium and the fans and the students that are in there as a 12th man uh, to help us win when we need that extra help. Speaking of Coach Schnellenberger, he's getting honored at FAU Stadium by having it, the field named after him. I mean, truly a great accomplishment for him. I mean, he helped build this program. He also helped build the Miami program to where it is now. Um, won a national championship, 6-0 in bowl games, over 100 and 50 wins all time. I mean, he's just a great head coach in college sports. I definitely believe he should be in College Football Hall of Fame just on the fact that he helped turn the Miami program around and helped build this program. So hopefully he gets in, but yeah. Yeah, absolutely, Andrew. He's definitely a legend for college football, and I really hope he gets Hall of Fame. Yeah, speaking of football, the Owls kicked off their season by traveling to Nebraska it was a rough start for our Owls as they were unable to pull the upset falling 55-7. to Christian Singleton was there to capture the sights and sound of the game.
In other news, FAU men's soccer team has their first home game this Sunday at 2 p.m. against the Stetson Hatters. On Friday, the Owls will travel to Orlando to take on UCF. The Owls are currently 0-2 and will hope to get their first win of the season during this two-game stretch. Speaking of soccer, the U.S. men's national soccer team will be playing an international friendly versus recent World Cup participants Honduras on October 14th at 8 p.m. For information on tickets, visit ussoccer.com. Pretty exciting. Hopefully the men's national team will have the same success. Coming up on the Blue Wave, the panel will discuss FAU's loss to Nebraska, preview the Alabama game, and talk about the upcoming NFL season. Stay tuned. 